Good evening and welcome back for those coming back and those of you on replay. Well, we certainly hope you stay. So, here we are on another Final Fantasy day. A zoom. You know what this means? It means we're going to be getting into our Final Fantasy. We're going to dive it over and have some fun. Absolutely. So, if there's no one else to say anything to, why not get right to it? So, you know, hanging out up a tree, <clears throat> it's a good place to be. Kind of having fun with messing with where, yeah, no, no, Carbuncle was around, I think. If not, we can fix. <coughs> oh, no, you're down there, are you? Just didn't want to climb the treehouse, scared of heights. It's fallen off too many things too many times. All right, so game plan for the Neath is, well, we have some. All right, we got at least two runs through the two dungeons to do to basically build up our last 100. It is a beautiful sunset, though. Um, <clears throat> focus. It's more than turning that daub on the front of the camera, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So. We'll get uh, our last three runs. It'll be two slash three runs. And then we'll basically be doing some Bray Fox and other stuff to basically earn up some other tokens so we can get some mounts. 
right? Which is basically earning these things. Let's bring these to a little more visible spot. There we are. <clears throat> so, that's the general goose plan. And to do it, what we'll do is we'll basically run two normal dungeons. You know, Legacy and Troya. Then we'll do a MSQ on here because we get a big bundle of goodies. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Yep. I know. I'm going to wind up with too many of these at the end of the day. I don't have to go find a spot to spend them on. Yep. Which will basically mean zip over, spend some of that. Yep, yep, yep. It's all good. And then we will get into running Hell to Tali hard and Brave Fox Lawn Stop hard. Like I said, a number of people have run those over and over and over again for their relics, so that's what happened last night. You know, I don't need to this. They did a basically an unrestricted pull, expecting themselves to be level 90, and we could just like boom boom, nuke them, run through, nuke them, run through, nuke them. Right? I did do a Fero Serious run unrestricted just to show you how badly overpowered you are. Level 90 with top ish gear. <laughs> Nowhere near top gear. <clears throat> but without further ado, let's pawn up and get on the queue. Nice. No waiting. Look at that. <clears throat> Pack your bags. We're on our way to Troya. It's all good. Here we are. Okay, we have two watching cutscene. That's quick, I suspect. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, it's one of those terrible ones. Isn't it? Most likely our player hasn't played this before. Rip and, sh rip and tear, huh? Yes. <laughs> Tiny carbuncle claws. I know, I know. They're all going all Doomslayer, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna make fun of that. Miss the time on that cast. Yeah, a lot of the older dungeons, newer dungeons, all have sort of a, you know, auto limiter in the fact that they won't let you pull more than. <clears throat> Couple before there's like a door or something that needs a key.
see. Now, no, you know, the first ones you can pull everything. It's great. Dreamer. Hey, got it. I do like the rotation. <laughs> well, it was like when we went from having three ether dams to two ether dam. Yeah, this was one, if it was 1.3 long for summoners. I know. <clears throat> and it was, to me, hilarity. 
that everyone was having an absolute pity fit. It's like, oh no, we've gone from three to two. It's like, it's a nerf, it's a nerf. It's like, yeah, take a look at the timer on this. It's no longer 60 seconds. It was only every 30 seconds. Now it's back to 60 seconds, so it is now. Technically a nerf? Absolutely. <clears throat> but it was only in the recent update that it became a nerf. Right? Well, before that, it wasn't. the uptime of our ability, it's no longer such a big deal. Um, <clears throat> hey, I uh, added something to my list of goodies. Hey, got the choker. Neat. Didn't have that one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's terrible. I kind of miss the other effects this had. <clears throat> I used the set thing on it that it would recover so much MP when it fired off.
doesn't say that anymore. Mew doesn't say that anymore. Nice. Almost really nice. <clears throat> Beatrice, we don't want to eat you. We just want to talk to you. Yes, see, yes. Don't doom OST with Gunblade hit different. <laughs> I think that Warrior would have been the best one to drop the Doom and hit OST on.
Nice and fun. Here we go. Big Buster, do not stand in it. Good guess. But do for that. Yes. Next week, here's a con. Here's something saying you're awesome. I'll pass on that. You can have them, because you'll need. I'm out. <clears throat> Not even gonna hang for it? New. No. I just be flipping it for goodies, and they need it on the other caster items. Mm hmm. So, no need to hang around, because it's like. I could, but it's not going to matter. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no. Not at all. It's like, how? Oh. I have to find out how much minimum noise the microphone can get, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll do that one more time. Yes! <clears throat> beep, beep. Drifting. Can you do it? I don't know. Not really, can you? I had a big old laugh the other day. <clears throat> I was headed into the island. And as I was going out the back of the aft castle, which I technically have to get back to now. Thinking about it. Um, <clears throat> I drove off the edge of the cliff, and I thought to myself, it would have been funny if there was a new player there. You know, someone with a sprout icon over the head, low level, obviously wearing starter gear. Like, yell out across the thing, I, there's no brakes! And just, like, over the edge of the cliff on him. Just <laughs> watches like, oh god, what happened? <laughs> uh, that would have been funny. But there was no one, so... All I had was the chuckle to myself. Just one of those. His pace other now. Ookie doo. Half castle, please. Upstairs. Beatrix Orochi slaps the fat cat. <sighs> Obviously, it's eaten something. <clears throat> do not become giant chunks but on their own <laughs> like oh you mean it's what they eat no it's what they're fed right they don't open those damn cans of food to eat do they I I'd be highly fearful of like coming into a place and the cat's like just opening it. it's like you come in here the can opener you go in there and there's the cat just like running the automatic can opener it's just like stops looks at you meow it's like yeah i don't believe you cat i just watched you do it oh uh, we have a point of four or five it's like if you know how to operate the can opener what else do you know <clears throat> were you successful they were i got hold this perfect look at that uh complete Commence. I'll have to go over their uh, changes when I get back. Another Troya. Another Troya. He's good. Yes. Yes, it is. Bum, bum, bum. If you want to know, there are sites that show you all the glamours. You knew what they are. Wow, chunk. Hi, how you doing? Dunk, 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 dunk. Where would you put summoner? I 
I put Summoner in the book of not hard to play, but... Be prepared, because... It's the class that's had the most rework done of any classes. And I'm not just saying, like, you know, just this time done. It's almost like every patch they do a little bit more, but then what they do more doesn't quite work with what they already had, so they have to redo a lot of stuff in the previous stuff as well. So that's my sort of, uh, oh, warning. what's a better word for that? Uh, I think there should be a better word for it. Advice? No, it's not quite right. I would have to say, there is my point about the class, right? You know. In A Realm Reborn 2.0, it was first added. In Heaven's Ward, it got the dragon bits and pieces and sort of had some of its abilities modified. extra stuff, so now we're not, you know, doing <coughs> all this goodies. And so, that, the class didn't really change terribly much at that point. Sort of an upgrade ish thing, and then when Stormblood came, there was the. I don't remember all the changes according to how they happened. One of them removed the ability... Yeah, Stormblood removed having to constantly worry about where your little guy was. They stop them from taking damage at that point, which was sort of good. <clears throat> Too many pets were getting exploded by raid-wide AoE, because you'd send off your pet to attack, and your pet literally did a Pokemon and ran up and started smacking it. Emerald was a ranged attacker. Topaz was the physical tank, and Ruby was sort of the single target, but they changed how the summons were. That's right. In Stormblood, they removed their ability to get pegged and changed them to once to instant summons for the summoning. But they changed it as well in the pet bar, which was a separate pet bar. So these abilities here were all sort of pet abilities. Still. Yeah. 
Stormblood introduced a bit more of a delay, so it was sort of a patchwork and Some good stuff, some bad stuff. That's when we got our Phoenix, so it was like, oh cool, that's neat, new. <laughs> Right. You know. So we got some buffs and some things and some stuff got taken down. That's what it was. Nothing fancy. And walkers took away our you know, gave us this ability and took away the the straight ability for well, it's it's complicated. This ability used to be on Topaz as a pet ability that you'd have to cast on yourself, which was cool. I mean, you, you'd click the button, Topaz would cast it. So it was all good and fine. You know, it worked. It worked well. And I don't think I complain loudly about it. So they, yeah. So they broke off the ability and gave it to us as separate entity type of ability. <clears throat> gave each of them sort of the single target AOE target, which is what they. Yay. Terrible. Hmm. So, by that count, it's like, so yeah, we've, we've had a lot of identity changes, so to speak. And, you know, we really will keep having a lot more.
Prior disaster used to be instant cast during um is not bad. I hope it did sort of come into its flavor now for a while. That's going to stay in here. You know, full well adding additional things. It'll be like... What would you like to see? Well, you know, of course, more summons. Summoner, after all. You were practicing this, I was practicing the blade in the dark. Uh, you know, I know we'll get more charges. So, you know, will we get sort of a case of Phoenix and then we get like one more? We could. 
right? I don't know if I've got that. Read that. I did not get that one. Someone rolled a 97 on it. Anyway. First trick. Regiment board. Training courses. No, not training courses. They're trained. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. What do we got? <clears throat> different. All different class. Mental ability for squadron members increased by 3%. Ooh. That's tasty. I'll have to make a decision on that one. EPS specific materia. No. Tank materia. No. Blister. So I have 40% different race. Yeah, that's not easy to do. So we'll actually... Do that. Different class, which is very easy. I mean, with the exception of Double Marauder. We could take old Neela and make her back into, or turn one of them into that. Hmm. You know, I have different classes and they all have different stats. Except for this, where I have two the same. <clears throat> oh, excuse me deeply. Oops. Tink. Don't need that. Scratch the brush. I have to do it. And just kicked on to super duper high. Is that why you rolled on it? Yes. Nice jacket. Okay, so we did two of those, so we won't do that again, but we do want to do a MSQ. And it's faster if I do this. Because that's what we're doing for the rest of the night. Celine! Celine and Eos used to have different pet abilities too. So yeah, they got rid of the pet bar, which was this plus it had it was a special bar up here. It's still there too, if I remember rightly. If I come to here and where is it? Hud layout. There it is. Um, yeah, pet hot bar. It used to have these plus it had, <clears throat> you know, Fey illumination, whispering dawn, were couple abilities on here, plus, you know, uh, something else. So you used to have three abilities that were tucked up on there. So it would be these three here. Yeah. And then Eos. Eos had sort of this healing over time and healing this. Celine actually had an interrupt on her. She had a silence. But as the mechanics changed, so did their abilities. So Celine is still the short hair fairy, and Eos is sort of the longer haired fairy. Oh, white with yellow unders and all the rest. I was kind of hoping we'd get a third fairy. So, you know, 
Looking forward, what do I want? Looking forward, I would like to actually see, you know. They could easily do a third fairy. Because right now, mechanically, both fairies are identical. It's just a different skin for the fairies. So they could either do, you know, Glamours in this format here. Or not. They would do the same. It works in raids for the two fairies to be two different color sets. So if you've got a Bellow one, one of you should have Selene, the other should have Eos. Or Eos. <coughs> yeah, much faster. The other thing I love about the Summoner Scholar is that they're both tied to the same class, the same class, the Arcanist class. Which means if you earn ability, um, experience points with one, you're leveling both at the same time. Which is what I love about having both classes. That's why I focus on the two of them the hardest. <laughs> you know, it's Summoner Scholar, Dark Knight, Dancer, Ninja. Those are the, you know, five classes I give any monk towards, which is one of each of the major distinctions. <coughs> and it took Endwalkers before I really cared about the other classes, you know. It's just like Dark Knight, Healer, and Dark Knight Scholar and this. When Endwalker hit, that's when I decided to actually push all the classes, bring them all up, because it, it sort of got to the point where I'd have to have multiple subsets of armor. And I was getting grumpy that I'm holding on to pieces of armor. You could definitely turn down the uh, amount of sparkle in the game. I did it because, you know, when it's four people doing it, it can be a pain to see what's going on. When it's 40 people doing it... <clears throat> You're not seeing anything. I know, I'm raw thumping it. Item level 60? Yeah. For the first 50 levels, your item level basically was close to your level. You know, level 14 with 14 gear, level 14 gear. It was once we got to level 50 and our gear was 50, then it became 55 level gear, 60 level gear, which was sort of the... This is sort of the uh, enhanced, better class gear and so on. make um, 
that make it really stupid happy for summon? Well, we got Phoenix from Stormblood, technically. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, for instance, you could add Siren. Mm -hmm. You could do Siren, you could do Alexander, you could do any of the Primals. <clears throat> right? Any of the Primals or, or that type of character you can do. Right? You know, we have sort of the dragon. We've got the Freet, Garuda, and this, which was the Ixels, the Aji, and the Kobolds, major thing. So you could do Leviathan, right? Which was another one we had to, to deal with on a more regular basis. You could do Rama. Actually, Rama would be kind of cool. <clears throat> giant guy with a beard just like Pierce and it's like mm, the most impressive beard ever and he just like like beats people to death with his beard there that would be awesome <laughs> <I know. clears throat> now we must sit through the unskippable parts right so yeah Rama would be another one we could do quite easily um, like I said Leviathan Rama you could do um, geez Siren wasn't really a primal in this. Siren was sort of just a, an enemy to beat. <coughs> Even though Siren is like a guardian, you know, a guardian force or a summon in all the others. Final Fantasy, so technically you could still do Siren that way. Which would be fun. Um, but you would replace them as, you know, you do Bahamut, Phoenix... Shiva, for instance, or Bahamut, Phoenix, Leviathan, in that sequence. So you'd still have, you know, the same, and maybe a few more attacks of the in-between, like, because then it becomes a, a, a third part of the rotation, if you would. So instead of going Bahamut, Phoenix, Bahamut, Phoenix, you'd go Bahamut, Phoenix, New Summon, Bahamut, Phoenix, New Summon. it would be the least disturbing to the rotation. Because it wouldn't. It would just be a... Uh, you know, Bahamut's two fire powers. <clears throat> so you'd have some sort of enkindling, which is a fa or something, which is this, and maybe an enkindling, which is a raid-wide buff of damage or something like that. <clears throat> or something, because, you know, Phoenix gives a heal that you put on a tank or something... It helps out the healer, as well as healing over time. <clears throat> as a buff. I don't think Bahamut actually has a buff when he shows up. I know Phoenix does, but, you know. Is that
Mm-hmm. Yay, best ride in the park. I'll keep saying that, too, because it really is. Catch up and pass her up. Yeah, that's pretty much narrow. You've got to do it by doing it on the inside. I don't know if you guys sit there and go, how did you lose if you've got these massive cannons? Is there a crazy pilot? <clears throat> so Take any primal and just add it to the third set. Hell, but even I, I, you couldn't add Metreon, no. Metion or Metreon, you couldn't add her because she's she's not a primal. She's a um. Oh crap! You know she's a dynamis being, but my brain just went and just pinged. You know, there was another primal, technically, you smacked as well, which were Heidel and Zodiac. It'd be just rude, wouldn't it? Like, you can summon Heidel, and everyone would be like, just looking at the summoner, like, what? You, 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 you what? Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Now, it'd probably wind up being something like Lunar Bahamut, or something similar. Yeah. But no, once I get all the armor up... Sort of, I will be looking to basically get through the blue, I think. Some of that blue I can basically do... Which is all savage and extreme stuff. Some of it savage and extreme, but I'm also stupid level. And if I did unrestricted, I could just complete the quest, but <clears throat> not get any loot from it, which is fine. <laughs> cough, cough. Hmm. Who's there? Because Heidel and Zodiac are technically primals as well. Ooh. Wait, so. <clears throat> well, I think Diva would be by far one of the most. Um, getting Shiva or Siren, I mean, Heidel in. Idolin would just break the community outright. It'd be like, why do you... Can you... Just... No! You know, it'd just, like, everyone would be like, this. It'd be like, look at it, Summoner, like, what? 
we do this, right? We've done it with Titan, Efreet, Garuda, Phoenix, who wasn't one we actually beat. It was one we fought with, but there was technically a fight against them, and they were in, they were in essence, if you would. Not proper primal, but you know, there it is. But they are one of the ones. Twelve Knights is technically another one we could do. That would be funny to drop. <clears throat> but Twelve Knights. It all like drop around and do like this kaboom attack. Like it would be spectacularly over the top. As a third point in rotation, it would be funny, but. No, um, just think of all the summons that were there. Odin would be another one could be done. Mm hmm. Not that we've encountered an Odin around here. We have sort of run into the twelve. So technically, we could use one of them as well. I think we've had enough of this. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's like I said, it's not skippable still. Well, it, it's become a main key point of the story. It's also why it pays slightly more than any of the other trials or whatever. Started it before I was in place. So I had to run through the lightning.
does well. Well, like I said, it's because I know... <clears throat> Once you know a fight, that's when healing becomes sort of funner to watch. It's less stressful to heal. <clears throat> when it's... Um, when it's a constant fight, because, you know, everyone's stepping in the wrong spot, you're hard casting for over here and hard casting over there, and you're dropping these and you're dropping those, and you're blowing through your cooldowns and GDCs and GCs going out of style trying to keep everyone up, that's when it's stressful and annoying. Brooks. Um, I'm reminded I was watching an old movie. Right? Mel Brooks, History of the World Part 1, which there is no Part 2. That's part of the joke. <laughs> but at the end, it's like, tune in for Part 2, which never happened. Damn you, Mel Brooks. And um, I got it as part of a, 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 a Blu-ray set, which I did have an upset about, and I will go into a moment. And it was, see a Viking funeral. They all take off their helmets and the horns are still attached. And looking at the aura over the back, realizing those are his horns on that helmet. So when he takes his head... <laughs> Damn you. Uh, <clears throat> hence the giggle. Nah, it was a classic case of a... It was in the bargain bin... Mel Brooks complete our series of films on Blu-ray and I thought look through them and it's like this that the other I'm like yeah I should get that that's good <clears throat> right you know I've seen a number of these films as I was you know, growing up watching the old TV stuff look for the lips control panel it'll be somewhere nearby <clears throat> But I was most upset with one specific one. I'm flipping through the discs, and it's like Frankenstein, you know, Blazing Saddles, History of the World Part 1, Spaceballs. And I'm looking at it, and I've watched Spaceballs enough times to realize you missed the possibility of writing Spaceballs the Blu-ray on the disc in black with the big type font that Spaceballs was done in. And it was like... Oh. That was such a missed joke. It was a theatrical cover on it. You know, it's all pictures. It's like part of the theatrical movie poster on it. It's like, that's not bad. It's not bad. But I would have just absolutely thought of a genius if it had said Spaceballs the Blu-ray on it. That would have been good. That would have been, like, a nice one. Tell me. <clears throat> for whom do I fight? Uh, honestly, I'm taking after a little bit of a meme right now, and I'm fighting for these little black things that the Moogles are giving us. Eorzea's <laughs> unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city states are built on deceit. Well, and its faith. We all know in 1.0, and your character technically starts in 2.0, from Final Fantasy XIV to a Realm Reborn. And I do remember I merged my character's name, but it's... But I think the funniest part about that is, you know, as an archer, I kept basically a heavy mask on my face. If you truly believe they your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartago and call Especially when you can start doing things like that. So, you know, always had a sort of a mask over my character's face, which was kind of fun and, you know, very Batman, if you know what I mean. You know, it's like I'm Batman. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts, icons, everyone. But I figured, you know, I'll start 
fresh for the next one. New server, new character. <clears throat> that way, I'm not trying to continue on from what I was. It was fun, and it was good. The cert gives me sort of a more enticing backstory as well. It's like, you were the hero of light in the first one, and then the thing happened, and then you're still the hero of light, but you're not, you're the same person. Yes. You were the person who wore, but the reason why you don't recognize me is because I wore a mask the entire time I was being an adventurer. You know, that's the the peace story that went behind it. Hence why Senna's knowing this, but a single path is open to the infinite I've got Kanyo Senna's Ani Senna, the photo in my or portrait in my quarters. Reminder, that's my first starting character's starting location. on my schedule.
I kind of wish I'd cast the other thing. <clears throat> mm hmm. Roll at 9,000. Nice. <clears throat> So we got 10 causality, because that's all I could fit. Seven irregular, 150 poetics, and then 270 poetics on top with 100 astronomy. But 10 out of 50, so I lost 40 because, eh, but I made up with it with all the rest of the moon. You know, 9,000 is nothing to be sneezed at. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Be long for wait for those? Probably not. Forty two. Winter turtle. It's kind of unusual thinking about it, just the sheer number of people hanging around down there by the etherite, partying, dancing, singing, making emotes against each other. Being a little dodgy in some cases. Mm hmm. -hmm. Uh. <clears throat> DPS was probably waiting for like 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Probably fishing, doing something. So as long as your healer gear is up to spec, as long as your healer gear is up to spec with an Arcanist build, you can always do this. But you know, when I did play WoW, I played a Druid, so I could go between DPS and healing anyway. <clears throat> so it's not that weird uh, setup here. Let's just hope they don't. I hope they realize it's not a. They pulled more than two. You know. Oh, we got someone who's not done it before. They're in iron gear. Yep. Here we go again. Why they do it? Get this is a restricted run.
I'm gonna keep doing it that way, he says. You're going down so fast, it, it's not even ridiculous. He's been doing it that way for the last four days. You do? I do. <clears throat> because I'm trying to think what healer would have that much horsepower. Oh, but, but, no, it's the same as that, for this. Wrong way to do it, but yeah. Okay, so you're two out of whatever tanks.
I need the key or something on one of these guys. <clears throat> Well, we'll see how he does with this fight. It's like, did you forget this was this? It's like, no, this way I've been doing it. With who? <clears throat> I have to ask, with who? Right? Because, honestly, <clears throat> you know, I'm sitting here with a hard time believing that that... Oh, 
was playing it. Uh. You think it would have worked the same? Yeah, it would have been the same thing. It would have been a death off the right bat. It's a two-part problem, I think. Yes, he can technically do it with a group of people that are all, you know, knowing what's the deal. You know, sages, lilies, those sort of things charge.
Yes, it's all about cheese. Cheese, lovely, lovely cheese. A little doubt at Bray Fox for that. I'm just trying to figure out how was he trying to get all the way up there? I mean, he's not targeting. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I can do it all. Uh. since I've done this one. Yeah, no, healer dead. So why'd you die? Because apparently I got aggro. <laughs>
Oh, I'm gonna forget the stance button. I don't. Order Heckler. Old. Go get him. Bent on hammer.
I got, I got, okay, this is like... Didn't get it in time. I thought I could hold on a little bit longer. <clears throat> you gotta, like I said, you gotta watch this symbol. It means they may not know the fight. <laughs> or it's been like ages since they last did it. They can't remember.
Not much longer those last on them. Inconceivable. Got a yeah, I know. I know. It happens. It goes splat. It goes bang. It's like. Ugh. Ugh. Yay. Let's go get one. That was getting painful in the head. Time for a break. Down, please. Uh, no, it's gonna be one of those. Like I said, <clears throat> he's been doing it. I don't know how. I definitely don't have the healing power for it. You know. <clears throat> but, but, no. Apparently, no. And that's what I'll leave it at. I have the Falcon, I just don't have this. So I only technically need 50 more. I don't care about the kerchief. But we got other things we need to deal with, so let's head. Yeah, we'll just do it the long way. It's fine.
Yeah, I don't know. You know, this is like me. Wait, not going to Rosé. I'm going Gold Saucer. Thank you. Like 300 gold out in the day. Oh, right now. <laughs> Kumoi Fife. Fifi. <laughs> the Fife. East Silent. It makes the eye, the long eye, so it's Fife. <clears throat> it's in English. It means it's a small pipe. I'm drumming Fife. It's loot type thing this is what a fife is first thing we do let's play Got 15 there, which is only this. <clears throat> no money. Yeah, that was the money. It was either two or five or six. Pick your pick your poison. Well, that's just simple enough, isn't it? No. no 180 was slightly better. That's okay. Didn't win big. That's okay. I actually have, for the record, managed to score. Eek. Managed to score a rather. Oh wait, 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 wait. Time. Just looked up. Yeah, it's 7.39. Let's go back and do it. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Gate. 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 <laughs> <coughs> He's fine. Anyway, the wind blows. Yes! It's a WT Funga! <clears throat> oh, someone likes short shorts. <clears throat> We've done it before. Pick a spot. Pick a spot, pick a spot, pick a spot, pick a spot. I don't know. Here feels good. Hoover stay. Terrible. <coughs> Get taken out in the first. The only guaranteed one I know is the one that reaches from here to here and goes right around the ring. So you definitely do not want to be in this spot. Right? You don't want to be right in the very, very center. Because this. So anywhere between this symbol and this symbol around the ring is where you want to be. Those are my only two rules with the what the fun got. <clears throat> okay, Miss Star figures she can just edge out the ring by basically, you know, standing slightly outside the ring. She'll count. 
know. The curse done. Sam with the curse done. Here we go. Get those dice, get them rolling. Here we go. Red light. Some people, oh, that was those people gone. If you got hit, you're off. Catch hell rests is off. See how they didn't get red lit? See? Okay, fine. It's a little bit more in, but yeah, the point is it's an outer ring one. He's done a line, a ring. You get smacked? Yes, I am. I'm out. 400. It's not bad. Nope. No, not bad. Uh, that reminds me, I gotta earn a bit from these. Where is the... Ah, there. Chocobo level. Google's ball works. Oops, two for. Didn't quite get it. Try again. Too far. Right? Google's paw is effectively crane game. It looks like you got it. It did. Too far. Mm hmm. Nope. Oh, uh, I got. It. Some small things. 10,000. There it is. Yup. The wet footprints on your carpet. blend. Doo -doo. Race chocobo training. I need two of each. Sure. Yes, I need two of each. Party member? That's when you want to race, like, your party of up to eight people, i.e. Not bots, you want to race just your friends, or just your viewers. 
That's what it's for. It's good. It works quite well. Just, you know. Aw. <clears throat> Can't be lathered this quick. Missed. I could cut that a little bit close. Too close. Yeah, that hurt. Boss your race, pretty much. I won't be last, but yeah, it cost me the race by touching the side of that thing. It was a goof. Look, why don't you take everything wide? Because <laughs> you're not playing from where you can see yourself most of the time. We get the rank, that's all that mattered. Yeah. At least that's what I'll tell myself. <laughs> nice. Well, we've made it. We'll just go straight back to the mist. Old enough to waddle, old enough to race. Spent one, two, three gil. <laughs> Funny. It's like it cost 69 to get back from the island. That's fun. How much did this teleport from the island home? 69. <clears throat> I don't know. It's like, take a 69 to get you off the island, or 69 to get you to somewhere else? It's like, go figure. No, oh, and it's raining. You were a dumbass running out in the rain. Get undercover. I think if I'm gonna do those two again, I will do them as tank. But we could do more, pull more. It's like no, I'm doing only pulling this many, my dude. But 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 we could pull more. We'll pull three groups. Do that. And move on. 
Okay. I've seen people pull too many and their healer's not able to hold up to them. Been that healer. <clears throat> Can't tell me my gear stinko about it. Hmm. Huh. That's enough of that, though. I know I dwell on things a little too much. But the reason why I do is try to figure out why I go wrong. Not where they go wrong. Where did I go wrong? You know, I'm replaying it over and over in my head, basically trying to think which sequence of abilities could I have possibly dumped to basically, you know, should I have, instead of dropping triple lustrate, should I have done sacred soil? I already dropped the Fey Illumination and Whispering Dawn. Right? Should I have just dumped Eloquolums on him and just hoped that the shield was enough to protect him, even, right? Or, or gone dumped on here? Should I have swift cast a second one pretty quick after? No. It's, this is the bit that drives me nuts. Which I just spammed Eloquolum on him. Technically only with about 10 casts or so of that. Minus regen, you know, that sort of stuff. I'll review, probably actually review what I did and verify what I was doing wrong. <clears throat> Three people wanting to do it. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Meijong Master? Oi. <laughs> Here to Fish and Meijong. Bella Moon. And. That. Oyoko Senjin? Seijin. What do we start with? Eight being the go, and I've got... Right, we're just playing for a Tanyo hand, so East is probably the next nicest one to throw. Mm-hmm. Three possible pawns if I'd kept the this and this, or a couple of them. It's entirely possible. Figured. It's not much. White dragons, minus 500. No. Score plus 50% due to east. 3, 3, 8, 8, 9, 9. Nice. Um, yeah. We'll try for a half flush on it, because we got one, two, three, four pawn right there, so. Don't 
like you're throwing in Akidora this early. <clears throat> And it was a 5-6 you threw, it's like, uh-oh. Probably this, this, and the one. Leave it on the red dragon. Pretty much. He didn't can it, he pawned it. Of that. I have two, three, four. <coughs> I would have played. Right. So we playing as three possible pawn. I figure someone's got that. One hidden pawn? Nice. <clears throat> It'd be nice to get two more hidden pawns. That'd be awesome. So we got one, two, three, four. Everything's sort of dangerous. They've thrown seven, eight, nine. That's why I was worried about throwing the six. <coughs> Off the bubble without too much trouble. Mm hmm. Okay. Easy go for Tanyo. It is the Dora. So I'm going to throw it right off the mark. Say I don't want it and I don't want to be caught with it. So let's start by heathing it right out the door. The doubles it becomes painful. Holy schmoly. Bro. Pretty much it, isn't it? Small points, though. <clears throat> okay, we have East. We can work with that.
I got south, too. Perfect. I'll throw these two out in the nine. I got another west. I'm going to be going, like, what is going on here? Cool. Pawn. Like it. I know two west have gone down. There's not a lot of info here other than they've gone for a Tanyo hand, you see. <clears throat> oh, go away with both of you. down for another 10 points off the things. <sighs> Your luck can change just that fast. Your luck can change just that fast. <laughs> I like it when it goes the other way, though. <laughs> Everything was dangerous, but I had to play it that way because it was furry tenton. It was risky. I had three people who wanted the tile or three people that could possibly want the tile, and it was like, eh. Play it as it goes. Go straight in. Full ranked match. Oh, we're going for a full eight hands. That's okay, it's Thursday. So it's a hell of a way to end the week. Meijong Master, Meijong Enthusiast, Bella Moon again. Oh. <clears throat> we played with <clears throat> last hand. I'm not sure about this one. Meijong Master as well is over that. I can't throw the one because I have one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, six, five, six, or seven, eight. Like, I know what I want to do. I need to get a four to do it. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need a four here, something like that. Mm-hmm. Get an eight, then I've technically got seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Looking for I could throw that waiting for a four. Gets the four. She's got east as well. Not much can be done about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So far, it's only like... Oh, any sumos. <laughs> White dragons, east. Cost me more because I throw out the Ricci. Yeah. Mm -mm. We got four, five, seven, four, five, six. Three is the odd one here in this case. Pawning the north doesn't help me in my hand. It works as a pair. If it was because it's east and I'm east, that's why it doesn't work. What I need is a five, seven, and something else. Not that. Right? Prime hand, I could probably get out of this if I got a six here, a five here, and a seven here. Yeah, I could throw the norths at that point because they're dead 100% safe to throw. That's a seven. That works for me. I can throw this four. It's not going to get me spanked. <clears throat> got five, six, seven, five. Need the six, seven there. Throw a north. Key on a, a five here. Throw a north. Can't chi on that. <clears throat> I can chi on a five, throw a north, and then second chi or pawn on a four. I can pawn on the two or the four, throw a north, chi, throw a north. That works. <clears throat> Oh, he had the Norths. <clears throat> yeah. Like, well, why didn't you pawn on them? Because I didn't want to pawn on them. They don't help. They wouldn't have helped me, and it would have forced me to play a different type of hand. Or four to win. Take back that spot, thank you.
So I got seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, nine, seven, nine, nine. <clears throat> doesn't help my hand. Five I'm planning to throw. Right? So <clears throat> I'm hoping to get uh, over here. South with south. Okay, they've got one Yaku. I didn't throw the other nine because if I get another nine, then effectively I have double you know, two nines. <clears throat> Can't pawn it. It's not going to be that. I'm looking for a six circle is what this is. <clears throat> but it's six circle as a Ricci in Foo. Right? It's Ricci in Foo, which is 2000 right there. Plus 2,000 for Akidora, so it's 4,000, 6,000, maybe more if I get Urdora. goes here. South and north winds do not help me. I have technically 2, 3, 4, 1, 8, but a possible 7, 8, 9. That's possible furry tension. I have 2, 3. Could get a 1. 7 doesn't help. North wouldn't have helped anyway. Okay. <laughs> I can throw one and nine and go Tanyo. didn't help me. Oh, there's a monkey in my head that says this is bad. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, no, I'm furry tenting because of her hand. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Little dragons. If she's got just this is one of the dragons, so that dragon can never be thrown from my hand. Nice. I didn't get the decision. Bro, no, why? Yeah.
Yeah. Not throwing the white dragon. <laughs> Let's throw it. <laughs> yeah. Not throw that white dragon. <laughs> I told you she needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Melt it. Okay, so I'll throw these two puts me in Tanyo territory. <clears throat> more adept to throw the dragon first. Circles. Yes. Yes, she's trying for pure circle. Four doesn't help me. What's he going for? East something. It doesn't matter right now. Two, four, one or four character, two ones are down, so I have exactly six outs. And it's Pinfu <clears throat> with Dora. So, Richi, Pinfu, Dora, that's three Yaku. Maybe an Erdora. both ways. <clears throat> what do we got? A uh, pair of threes, five. What of each of the wins? Throw west, it's mine. No one's really going to want it. Nice, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Nice. Possible triple mix chi. Throw the white, throw the north. Throw the white, throw the north. Six, seven. Nice. There are threes over here, so I could throw that one six. Triple mix chi, Tanyo. That's. Nice. Okay, so here pawn. Um, no, chi here pawn three. So I can pawn threes or fours. He throw the other four, and then wait on a five. Ideally, I wait on a five, but if someone throws an eight, it becomes just Tanyo.
You don't have to worry about it. She's already stopped the Ibikatsu. <clears throat> Not a lot of information. Literally six circle, that was thrown. I doubt anyone's throwing the five with the Akidora. I'm most likely going to get cut. Someone's going to throw the eight. And it'll be like, ah, that's okay. It's Richie. Wait, it's Richie, it's Tanya, that's two. It's a little hand. We move around. Ah, uh, they had the fives. We got Tanyo. Yep, it's a thousand. Two thousand, because I bet a thousand. That's what a Richie is. A bet of a thousand that I can make the hand. <clears throat> Ooh, like that. Don't like this. Nice. He does that, though. He'll throw numbers before he throws... Uh, wins. As a thing? As a thing. All green. two all green tiles right there. Bam, bam. Beautiful. <laughs> like an inch for that. So that's just Green Dragons, 500. <laughs> One, two, three pair, possible that. love a six. I would love a seven. Another one of these, please. Thank you. Mm, I should have thrown that. Five, six, seven, five, six, sorry, in this case we got six, seven, eight, five, six.
a six here means I can technically throw either the five or the eight. Oh, I should have cheated that. I didn't think. <clears throat> I was trying to keep the hand closed, but if I cheat it... No, I, I would have to keep the hand closed, I think. I just walked into that one. Nope, got away with it. The eight's the dangerous one. Bamboo would be the hard one to throw, and eight is most likely the smelly one. Nope. <coughs> Poor Bella. Just throw it. <laughs> oh my god, it's a full match. Lol. Just noticed? Just noised, did ya? Me spelling. <laughs> Just noticed, did ya? Green, throw green. Hmm. <coughs> west is a good throw. One's down. Throw west. Hmm. Fours are down. That ain't happening anytime soon. Six, seven, eight. Nice. <clears throat> Four. Tasty. Air. I think I four over here or something, don't I? Not gonna get it. Um. Seven, eight, six, seven. I either need five. I need five regardless, but if I throw the fours. Oh, crap. I can't. Uh, burgers. If I throw in the eight. If I throw the four, it's furry tenton. I have to throw the seven. Go on the five. Bastard. I need a two or a five. I need two five over here. Second form might no that would make free tent again. Bastard. Okay. 
repair. And he does that. He'll hold the throw. I know. Now we're in the really dangerousy spots. <clears throat> Can't pawn it. Yeah, people will now chi for the sake of closing their hands at this point now with this close to go ten pie. I just sucked the life out of that friggin' play. No, I'm gonna be not in. I'm paying between 500 and 1,000. Everyone's not in. No payment. What have I got? What is this nonsense? <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't throw in the nine. Um, kept the nine, throwing everything else, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Go for a thirteen orphans. Let's just make it obvious. It's a small one, but it puts me off the bubble again. Oh, Bell, it says, take this guy. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> one, two, three, pawn. Let's do it. I'm just canned early. Holy crap.
I know, I'm basically advertising what I'm up to. play. That's, that's right, people. He's sitting on something evil. <laughs> I needed that. What filth do I have in my hand now? What's the filthiest, nastiest, sneakiest, bostedest way out of this? Four, got that. Nice. Still good with the four over here. Why do you throw the two? Right off the bat. Random tile. <laughs> two. Seven, eight, nine, this three circle to basically win. green. Works for me. It is. GG. <coughs> 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 well, that does us for the evening, I think.
It does, it does. Okay, it is Thursday, which means my music player here needs to... No. Oh, it is. Fucker. Just hmm, pain and pain in the butt when I was trying to get the play. Anyway, that's it for our Final Fantasy part of the week. Bah, 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 bah. Which means we'll be back for Monday if you like my Final Fantasy, what we're up to. And it's basically going to be Race the Chocobo. So if you're up for to basically see me run around the track like a ya ya, a yo yo, or you you. Why, why vowel, why vowel? <laughs> Come along. Otherwise, uh, don't. <laughs> hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way everyone is. Boom, boom. But tomorrow, we'll be back in Night City. Mm -hmm. I've got a few more little quest sides to do, and I don't think I'm up to them yet. We'll have to see what I have left to do, and if I have to, basically forced into this. But we're going to be doing Johnny's side quest, so... If you're up for some fun with Night City, show up tomorrow. We'll basically do it. We're not looking to basically finish either, so... Join me tomorrow at 7.30 Mountain Standard, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, because it's the same time every time, Monday through Saturday. And I've been Thalen Darkfart, and I'm out of here. So, laters. <laughs>